Michelle Knight. This is the astrological update for Leo for the week starting the 26th of March. Now, this week, Venus, the planet of love, is in your 10th house, which is great news because it means people that you work with or people you have worked with see you in a new light. They feel very loving thoughts towards you. They feel very positive towards you. So if you're going for a new job or you're thinking about doing something with your work, not only is your heart in it, you have a fabulous energy. People find you irresistible. It could also mean that there is some attraction to someone at work, but more importantly, Mercury is going retrograde in your eighth house. There could be an ex-lover that comes along to throw a spanner in the works, or you could have feelings that you thought you dealt with, or, or somebody rings you up and communicates with you and you're surprised by the intensity of your reaction. Know that this is a passing phase. It's not forever, and even what you felt in that moment when you spoke to them could just be a shadow, an echo of the previous relationship. It doesn't mean you feel that now. It doesn't mean you have to feel that now. In fact, probably this week, it's good to focus on your career. It's good to focus on the people around you and build up the good vibration that's possible connected to your work. You really are a love magnet at work for unconditional love and people believing in you this week. Now we have the sun on the 30th in the ninth house and it's squaring Pluto in the sixth. Don't over plan things. Don't feel that you have to be absolutely perfect because when we do that, sometimes we take away the magic. Our magic is about being relaxed and trusting and flowing ourselves into things and doing things differently. If you try to overperform, if you try to overly kind of do something when it connects to your career or, or it connects to any aspect of your life, then you can sort of, by doing something, by focusing on it to make it better, you can lose the opportunities and, and the gift of doing something with an open spirit and a free heart, which is often more powerful than trying too hard. Basically, don't try too hard this week. Know that your adventurous way of doing things is the thing that has worked for you and will work for you. Have faith. Know that you are adorable. You're a Leo, for goodness sake, and trust in you this week. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.